So what should the Dallas Cowboys do now that it's pretty much understood that Tyron Smith is out? Let's talk about it. Boss Cowboys Sports, your voice matter. Well, you know, Tyron Smith is a complicated issue because this year he's not having his usual injuries. His injuries are coming more so because freakish stuff is happening to him. McGovern actually rolled his ankle this time. So I know a lot of people want to kind of hang on and say that he's injury prone. A lot of times those non-contact injuries are the ones you want to be concerned about. But that's not the case this time. So it's more so like his luck is more so have been bad because of in-game contact. So, but obviously we're here, but it's one of those things that we also expected. So, and you expected it because of his injury history, you can't ignore it, right? So, one thing that I mentioned a long time ago is that they should, even with the fact that they started at one point still, because of Tyron Smith's history, I said that they should continue to cross train still even after he came back because you never know when Tyron Smith is gonna be out. Well, we're sitting at that situation and we saw Ty Naseki get into the game when that happened and I'm talking about against the Washington football team because obviously they couldn't make the adjustment of putting still that left tackle at the last minute. But that only happens when you don't cross train your guys to be prepared for that in a moment. I already proved to you that there are plenty of teams, we've shown this many times on Boss Cowboy Sports, we've shown this plenty of times that there are many teams that cross train. A lot of teams cross train uh, their tackles and their guards to be prepared for the unexpected. You supposed to train your guys for the unexpected. So we sitting here right now, pretty much at the unexpected with Tyron Smith, or really it was expected. So what should happen is we should uh, put for sure uh, still back at left tackle, okay? Uh, after he gets a full week of practice, because remember he was already trending up even at left tackle. Now. When you play left tackle versus playing right, the OC did a great job of explaining how your your power hands and your balance and everything changes. So a lot of people misunderstood and thought that because Steele played so good on the right side that he would automatically do the same on the left where that didn't happen originally, especially when he debuted at left tackle because he was what? Thrown out there and being thrown out there, it, it's just not wise for us to expect somebody to have an instant change like that without the off season, where he got the reps in training camp, but once he started playing right tackle, they stopped practicing him at left tackle. Just a little bit of frozen measure Kool-Aid as I give y'all this information. So, so now, if they would have cross trained him, if they would have kept him getting the reps to be prepared for the unexpected. So now we don't know exactly the preparedness of steel, but here we go again, where we have to trust steel likely to take on the left side responsibilities with little reps again. So obviously, that's the bad news. The good news, the real good news, is that like all the things that's been happening throughout throughout the 2021 season, this is a, this is another one of those blessings in disguise. So none of us that are so excited about Michael Parsons, okay? None of us that are excited about Michael Parsons playing the way he's been playing, especially coming off the edge, we would have never seen it if it wouldn't have been for Tank's injury. So that's one of those things that worked together for our good, even though it appeared originally bad. So still 
getting all these reps at right tackle, then that left tackle. You also have Steele who is showing and proving and really proving and doing a good job of proving that whenever you give him the reps, he improves. So last year, 2020, when Steele was thrown out there, he was beat like a drum, but he kept improving. To the second half of the season, he actually played okay. He was better than he was on the first half of the season. Then he jumped out um, and got tested mightily out the gate against Bosa. Uh, then he had to go against Judon. Then he had to go against Hunt. All that kind of stuff made Steel better. The same thing on the left side is yes, he stuck it up the first time they put him out there on the left side, but that's understandable because it's hard to play left tackle when you, that's all you've been playing is right tackle. I always explain it best if you demonstrate. I always explain it best if you demonstrate, like if, it, and I really want y'all to do this. I want you to actually get in your fight stance. Stand up, I'm serious, stand up. Get in your fight stance, throw your hands up. Throw a jab, throw a jab. I'm serious, stand up and do it, throw a jab. Now I want you to switch your feet, switch your feet and throw that same jab with your left and just tell me how it feels. I'm dead serious, tell me how it feels. Even just throwing a little bit, throw it with your right or, or whatever your dominant hand is and then throw it with your left. Tell me how it feels. You're gonna instantly feel the awkwardness of it. Instantly, you're gonna instantly feel it. It is because it takes a while before the body to begin to be able to mirror what you was doing on the right, on the left. My sons are fighters. The only way I was get them comfortable with fighting on either side is they had to practice over and over, fighting on their left side or fighting on their right side. Cause I always knew. If you get caught with your feet out of position, you still need to be able to have the instincts of a fighter, don't matter which foot is forward or which hands are forward. But that's because I train my sons to be that way. It's 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 a it's a, it's obviously I'm talking about taekwondo and, and combat fighting, but to a degree, tackle is very much so combat fighting. The hand fights and all the stuff that go with it, the counters, the techniques, all the all the times you have to use your hands. You got to get really used to punching on your left versus punching on your right. But that's happening with Steel right now. So, so yeah, it's a messed up situation. But this is another one of those situations that we can look at it as glass half empty, or we can look at it for what it really is and that this glass is actually very much so half full because all the guys that's getting all the reps from these unexpected injuries are now better, right? Because when we lost Gallimore, what did we say? Oh man, also gonna have to put on some big boy shoes, but guess what, he did. And when he hit his rookie wall, Gallimore was there to step back in and relieve him. And now Osa is going to be more so of a rotational player where we still, we still st should get some bang out of him. But the blessing was that Gallimore went down, which gave him the reps. So we seeing still um, a good preparedness for the playoffs. So yes, Obviously, we all are not happy about Tyron Smith going down and that he's not playing again. But on a, a glass half full, I am happy because we got weaker teams that's coming up. We got weaker pass rushes that's coming up, which then lets us allow Steel to develop on the left as well as continue to get his reps on the right. And so whatever that could happen in the playoffs, at least we can say we've seen it. Like even with Cooper Rush, just think about it. Cooper Rush never got any game experience, but when he was called upon, he played and he played good enough to win the game. You don't think if something happened to Dak temporarily in the playoffs that we won't need the build up, built up equity in Cooper Rush? Yes, we will. So that's exactly how I see the situation with Tyron Smith versus Steele, is that we are in a situation where yes, on the surface, it looks bad, 
But in the long run, it's very good. Boss Cowboy Sports, your voice matter. That's where you get this type of content. Stay up.